Number 1. The Plaza de San Juan de Dios. Start your day in Cadiz with the Plaza de San Juan de Dios. This square built in the 16th century was for a long time the heart of the city, because of its proximity to the port. Many exotic products from India were exchanged. Number 2. The Roman Theater. Dated from the end of the 1st century BC, it was discovered by chance in 1980. It's the oldest in Spain as well as one of the largest, with a capacity of 20,000 people. Today, the proximity of surrounding buildings prevents further excavations. Number 3. Cadiz Cathedral. With its golden dome, Cadiz's most famous monument can be seen from everywhere while walking in the city. Started in 1722, the construction of Cadiz Cathedral was completed only a century later and thus mixes several architectural styles such as Baroque and Neoclassical. Number 4. Cadiz Market. After the cathedral, you should walk to Cadiz Market. For me, going to the market is a must when discovering a city or region. The best way to discover local products. To go there, take the Calle Compania to the Plaza de las Flores so-called because of the many flower stalls you will find there. You will then arrive to the Plaza Libertad and its central mercado. Number 5. The Tavira Tower. Close to the market, first going to Alcala Galeano Street and then turning left on Sacramento Street, you will come across the Tavira Tower, one of the 126 towers, yet only, in Cadiz. It's one of the most visited buildings after the cathedral. These towers generally served as watchtowers for the port, and Tavira Tower was the highest and main one. Number 6. San Sebastian Castle. Your walk along the Campo del Sur will take you directly to the entrance of the Paseo Fernando Cañones, the path leading to the castle. Connected to the city by this pier, the San Sebastian Castle is located on a small island. The legend has it that this is where the Temple of Crono stood, in antiquity. It was the Venetians who called it San Sebastian, to invoke his protection. Number 7. La Caleta Beach. Between the two castles of Cadiz, La Caleta Beach is the perfect stop for swimming and cooling off. However it's relatively small and located in the historic center, so in summer, it may be a bit crowded. You will find all the amenities, restaurant, bar, toilets, showers. It's a supervised beach, and the two castles forms a sea wall that protects it from strong waves. Number 8. Santa Catalina Castle. Located at the other end of La Caleta Beach, this fortress was part of the city defense infrastructures. After the plunder of Cadiz by Anglo-Dutch troops, the King of Spain decided to build the fortress to strengthen one of the most vulnerable points of the city. The building is star-shaped, with several defensive bastions. The parade ground is surrounded by different pavilions and a chapel dedicated to Santa Catalina. Number 9. Genoves Park. About a hundred meters from Santa Catalina Castle, you can find the entrance to Genoves Park, the largest public garden in the city. This park along the ocean contains botanical species from different countries and various small monuments, including the very popular children under an umbrella fountain. There are also a small man-made cave and lake, a waterfall, and a few ducks. Number 10. Alameda Apodaca Park. If you want to enjoy the freshness of the gardens a bit more, you should then head to Alameda Apodaca Park. It's very easy to find it, as you just have to walk along the sea. With its many trees, fountains, wrought iron lampposts, sculptures, colorful ceramic benches and checkerboard tiles, it's for me the most beautiful park in the city. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.